guys, today we are going to talk about off-the-job training. Let me explain off-the-job training to you. Off-the-job training must take place during paid hours. Over time, that is paid, must be included in off-the-job training calculation. Off-the-job doesn't necessarily mean away from the workplace. In some cases, it may be possible to carry out training at the workplace. Employer to define what off-the-job training aspect is and how it will be delivered. Off-the-job training should not be delivered as part of normal working hours. So, what does off-the-job content must teach? New knowledge, skills and behaviors which require training to reach competence for their job. Now, what counts as off-the-job training? Lecture method, discussion method, case study method, case incident method, game method, behavior modeling training, role play method, simulation, action learning method. So when should off-the-job training take place? Off-the-job training is measured over the course of the job. It is up to the employer and the HR trainer to agree at what point training should be provided and to whom. How should off-the-job training take place? Well, it can be measured, um, it can be delivered in a variety of forms including the theory of teaching, e-learning, lectures, role plays, simulations, exercises and manufacturing training. Uh, well, what else do you need to know? Employers must pay their employees uh, at their regular salary. At, at least at the minimum wage during the course of the training. Uh, training must take place during employed hours and all employers should keep a record of the training programs 